Hi, Pastor Charlie here with New Hope Lutheran Church and with Pastor Charlie's Toolbox. Welcome. So, have you ever wondered how people do some really amazing things? Things that make other people wonder, how, how did he do that? Well, today, I want to show you some fascinating things that I've learned to do, and I warn you, they may boggle your mind. Well, at first, anyway. So, one of the problems we have around the shop are nails that are dropped and need to be picked up. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to pick up these nails without even touching them. So, what I do, I wave. I wave my mystical bowl over them and they're picked up. Pretty incredible, eh? Now, the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to stretch metal with my bare hands. There's some metal here. I will stretch it out. Just need to get a little... There. Always prepare yourself before a workout. it out. And now, with this instrument, I will now pick a screwdriver out of my toolbox. Pretty cool, huh? So, maybe you don't think it's that cool because you probably have some idea of just how I did those things. You know, magnets. Magnets and telescoping metal that folds into itself and comes back out. Question I have for you though is how did you know how I did that? How did you know that? I'll bet it's because you were very carefully watching what I was doing and, and when you put that together with knowledge you already had, like knowing about magnets and knowing about telescoping tools, you were able to come to a conclusion all by yourself. Right? Have you ever thought of that as being some kind of superpower? You know, we think Jesus had some incredible powers, which he did, although not every one of them were all that mysterious. Let's take today's lesson, for example, from, from John 1 here. We have the story where a disciple of Jesus named Philip did what, well, what we're all supposed to be doing, and he told a friend about Jesus. And when Jesus met this friend, whose name was Nathaniel, for the very first time, I might add, Jesus said to him, Now this person, this person is a real Israelite with not a false bone in his body. He's a really good guy. Well, Nathaniel was pretty impressed, and he wondered how could Jesus know such a thing? And he asked Jesus, so Jesus told him how. Days before, Jesus had observed Nathaniel under a tree, and I suspect came to this conclusion just by watching 
how Nathaniel acted, what he did, and perhaps what Jesus overheard him saying. You know, you can learn a lot just by watching someone carefully. You find out a lot about them. And the thing is, Jesus did that by using his powers of observation. He took the time to notice people around him, and by doing that, was able to come to some conclusions about that. And you know what? We too have that kind of power. But unfortunately, most of the time we can't be bothered to use it. We can't be bothered to, to notice people who are all around us and in pretty plain sight. But the thing is, if we really look, if we really take the time and make the effort, we will find that we also have at least some of that same power, the power of observation that Jesus had. We can tell if someone's sad, right? We can tell. We can usually notice if something is troubling someone. And, and like Jesus, we can do something about it. And one of the easiest things to do is to listen to someone you notice is having a rough time. And on top of that, to encourage them to share with us their story, whether it be of loss or grief or whatever it is. And then maybe, maybe we can do something about it or it may be beyond us to do anything further, but at least we should be offering ourselves out there to help others who can then unburden themselves. So, this week I encourage you to make use of your powers. Take the time to to see the people around you in your life and, and to observe their situation. Don't, don't hide such powers away because God meant for each of us to not only make use of those powers but also to make good use of them.